let's do this. Um, working um, to meet their goal but they don't have a clear path on how to how to reach it and they forget that we're dealing with human beings both as staff and as clients feel like every time something happens I just feel like going you should be here you should see this but the truth of the matter is is that some of the people I work with don't see it and maybe I have a little bit of empathy and Crazy, like ask what the client needs, um, but it's very different than what everybody is dictating to me. And they pretend like I have a modicum of input in the whole thing. Basically, uh, all they really want me for is a warm freaking body, and uh, that's it. You know, take your space holder and hold the space. If we get a lot of space holders to come in here, um, we'll pick the best space holders we can. People who rock the boat tend to not be the space holders they want to keep. Or at least it feels that way. I could be wrong. But it feels that way. And again, I would I would recommend for anybody in you know the upper management or even middle management to come down and see what we're doing and to be there. And supposedly they do do spot checks in. But I don't mean for, to like catch us doing something wrong, which inevitably they'll do. You know, eventually they're going to catch us doing something wrong. We can only take so much for freaking human beings. We're not freaking robots. And yeah. Create the robots that can do this job without us. I don't care. Ideal that you know, the job is the job and it's, it's the same, and what's good for one is what's good for all. And yeah, equality 
Equity is different than equality. That's all I can say. Everybody's different. You have to treat everybody different. And in the end of the day, I'm not getting paid fucking enough to do this. I'm getting paid enough to be a freaking placeholder.
better shape than when I came to.
funny because it snowed like crazy last night. We probably got like two or three inches and then it rained. And the rain has actually made this look nicer again. It was looking pretty, uh, pretty scary for a while. I, over the past year, and even before I started doing the slimes, um, the Potteroos definitely has the most requests, but even if I take them out, I probably have, like, I could probably go through my DMs and come up with several hundred people requesting art. Um, most of them w wanting to pay me. them wanting to pay me for it and um, it's like the moment I tell them that it's not I'm not doing commissions just yet it's like phew, gone um, the uh, Twitter DMs alone and this is I mean this could be dealing with must this could be dealing with all the account suspensions. This could be dealing with all the things that are going on. I haven't really gone into it. I haven't really checked it out. But I have not made. I'm trying to think. Of, I'm trying to think of somebody who actually did do a request. Yeah. Um, I put out for. Um, you know, because people overwhelmingly DMs and stuff like that. Um, I will do a queue or a slime. All you got to do is request here. All you have to do is make a tweet and request it. Give me your reference. Blah, blah, blah. And uh, one person responded to it. Never sent me a DM before. And I made them a, uh, this. Um, I am getting rid of the Hollow Live V Show Joe. Um, major independent um, VTubers, streamers, that I made slimes for. Um, it is over a hundred. Um, not only is it over a hundred, but uh, I have been slowly going through, um, and for the people who have stopped following me, basically the people who have like, um, followed me for the art, got the art, and stopped following me. Those people I'm taking out as well. I have nearly 200. And I'm only halfway done. Now. So, there, like I'm saying, there's 500, there's 500 slimes left to go through. Um, I've already pulled out all the majors anyway. So, there was already a built-in hundred right there. But out of the 400 that were left, a hundred of them almost. Um, and it was more than a hundred anyway. But a hundred of them almost. So, 25% of them. That's just, a, that might be a little high. Let's let's say uh, I'm not gonna like make it up. It's 25 percent. 25 percent of them are people that have gone. From me. Um, if 20 25 percent of them, um, if I lose another 25 percent, um, that's another 150, right? I think it's 150. Um, or 
is at 125. Um, which would be 125. Uh, the 125 um, extra that I take out. I mean that it really is going to, when I think about that I'm like going so I'm going to be down to 650 now granted like I said I most of most of the ones that were not supposed to uh, you know that have never followed me that don't even know I exist the slimes I made for them that was a lot. I've already taken those out. And that's why that's why the numbers are really skewed. But as soon as I go through these 500 more um, and I pull out the people who have stopped following me. Um, I might have. I, I, I might have over 200 people. I might have close to 300 people. Actually, I have already close to 200. Um, but I might have close to 300, 300 um, people out of that, which leaves me with 700 people that I made slime shit. And now I have to figure out where I'm going to get the next 300. I mean, that's the number of Spartans that went to something. The lip line, the lip pie, the little lip pie, um, to fight the Persians. The lip of the lip of the lip of I can't even think of it. I'll have to look it up. The lip, whichever, wherever they, wherever Leonidas, uh, um, fought, um, names is, um, Billion. I can't believe I was thinking of that. Um, yeah. I don't, I, here's the funny thing about it is, I did a really big push to become a full-time streamer and to do this for a living and everything like that. I didn't know what that would have. I know. I know the number that I needed to make it happen. I didn't know how to maintain that number once I hit it. It's not like oh, I hit the number and I'm done. It's like I gotta maintain at that level. That means that I, I would be hitting higher numbers, but I, the minimum was what the number that I had to hit. That's the least amount that I had to make in order to survive as a streamer. And I know that I did a serious push for it. And I know that I really worked hard to try to make that happen. But I can't even see like how to maintain, you know, streaming every day, working really hard on it, um, creating things, you know, the the back the back work for all of it was just tremendous. And I was mostly doing art streams um, to get that whole thing situated. That's the reason why I have a merch page up. That's the reason why I did sponsorships. That's the reason why I was doing all this stuff. That's the reason why I haven't done sponsorships since. Because sponsorship requires a fuck ton of work. It's a lot more work than what... I put in a lot more work than what they were, were going to pay me. That's if I succeeded. If by some miracle, my sponsorship, um, I think it was doing um, Mech Warriors or whatever it was. Um, Mech something. Uh, Mech Arena. Um, let's say Mech Arena, which is the only sponsorship that I've ever done. Mech Arena, um, I got fully paid. The amount of work that I put into it um, the, just the amount of work that I put into it wasn't worth the money that they were going to pay me. I 
I definitely make more money at the job that I'm doing now for less hours than I did from Mecarina. And that was a full payment. Because I put in over 40 freaking hours into getting trying to get that sponsorship done and that was uh, I think it, I think it went for two weeks but I know I did I know I did I, I by the second week uh, yes because I think it ran for two weeks um, by the second week I was I was done with it I was done with the minimum that I could have done with um, uh, I think on the second day but I still ran with it. I still did the advertising for it. I still did the streams for it. The hours in the streams, you know, count. Um, me playing the game continuously. Played it every day. Um, and so the amount, the amount for Mecarena, the time that I put into it, it's just not worth it. And no offense, the game wasn't all that fun. It was kind of stupid. And, you know, and I know I, I shouldn't say this about something that I was freaking sponsoring. But it was really hard to like, you know, put a positive spin on it. I mean, even freaking Raid Shadow Legends. I mean, the game's stupid. Got cards and stuff like that. And you have your freaking little group of warriors. But they can be like all different things, but they don't really work well together when you have all different things. You have diversity. Like, it's stupid. Like, I wish you could just pull from a freaking like orc pack or a skeleton pack or, un I mean, undead pack. You know, whatever you're building your army or elf pack. It's drawing cards and freaking, you know, trying to put together this freaking pop freaking thing. That, that game is just not that good. And I hate the freaking crap on it because you know, somebody spent a lot of money and, and a lot of time and they, you know, they pay freaking streamers to promote it. But I'm not really a gamer, so... reason I, and I've never been the sponsor I've never sponsored Great Shadow Legends I've only um, till they stopped me from being able to do this I was only supporting other people who were, who were doing the sponsorship for Great Shadow Legends so I played it a bunch of times and started over a bunch of times in order to do it and then they stopped me from doing it I think I did it six times And never once did I have uh, a battle force that I was I was proud of, or I even knew all of their intricacies. Um, you know, just level them up and you know level myself up, and that's it. And I could do that in a day to help the sponsorship, and then they stop me from doing it. So I couldn't even support anybody else for doing that and it's like and then of course I finally got sponsorship and one of the things that they were offering was Raid Shadow Legends and I'm like why the fuck would anybody play Raid Shadow Legends when they've already freaking helped other people out I don't have a follow I don't have a lot of people freaking seeing me live I don't have a lot of I don't have a lot of that stuff happen but Mecarena when I did Mecarena and the game's the game's okay When I did Macarena, um, I put some time, fucking time into that. Um, I built it up. And the truth of the matter is, is that it was, it did not work out. Also, one of the reasons why I wanted to do full time is because, um, people freaking, you know, gifted this wonderful computer to me wonderful art tablet to me that 
and everything like that. And it's like I felt like I couldn't even use it. cutting this short because I have a fucking long ass day ahead of me. Um, Where, um, if you could put cool beans in the comments below, that would be wonderful. Um, also, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you're having a fantastic time doing that. I hope you're enjoying every moment of your life. Um, and if you're not right now and you're struggling, um, I hope you can see that those times are going to happen and you are going to enjoy them. And it's worth fighting for. I'm doing the same thing. I am, you know, trying to see the light at the end of the tunnel. And if everything goes right this year, this is my year. But if everything goes right this year, I should be finally out of the debt that I put myself into. Um, and I should be working towards, you know... Um, a better, a better life, better, you know, everything better. Um, and this year might not be the year where I'm able to stream a lot and things like that because I'm doing this push. So, um, it literally is, I'm, I feel like I'm working towards 2025. Um, Everybody who is with me now, everybody who's going to be with, you know, you know, just hanging in there as best they can throughout 2024 and the new people coming in and stuff like that will be putting up with this craziness. I swear it's going to be worth it. I swear it. And I'm going to make it up to you. Um. And that's where we're going to be. Alright? So take care. Alright, bye.